Advocates and stakeholders have emphasized the need for a thorough review of budget allocations and spending at the state level in a significant push for addressing gender-based violence. The appeal was made in Abuja during the launch of the 2023 Humanity Index Report, an annual assessment and ranking of sub-national governments focusing on their efforts to advance gender equality, organized by Invictus Africa in collaboration with Budget Foundation and funded by Ford Foundation. The call for budget scrutiny comes as a proactive measure to enhance the preventive prevention and response mechanism for gender-based violence. The keynote speaker, former First Lady of Ekiti State, Mrs. B.C. Adeleye Fayemi, recommended the implementation of a special gender-based violence action plan for each state. response without resources. Therefore, I recommend that every state needs a GBV costed action plan or its equivalent. And one of the most effective ways to do this is to mainstream GBV funding through key ministries and agencies. And I'll explain what we did around this in the Other stakeholders emphasize the urgency of tailored strategies to combat GBV, underlining the importance of a coordinated effort at the state level. They decried insufficient allocation of state resources for women population, urging state government to prioritize funding for initiatives aimed at tackling GBV effectively. Responders die just traveling to go and provide um, legal justice for, for victims and survivors. There is also information and awareness. The fact that even though um, states are doing some form of GBV information and awareness, but we realize that those information and awareness programs are not consistent, they are not frequent, but, and they are not also reaching the art to reach communities. They are also not equally accessible, for instance, to persons with disabilities. And lastly is that of um, support services. We realize that some states have sexual assault referral centers, but when you calculate the number of sex, the sacks and shelters in the state, they are not sufficient for the population of that state. But what we need to do is to continue to increase the level of training for middle-level officers. We also need to empower our female officers to take the front role in, in, in strategies that are designed to actually counter gender-based violence. We also need to deal with the issue of trust. And dealing with the issue of trust, we need to make the police more friendly and more receptive and being able to also handle issues that touches on the confidentiality of some of the victims. The 2023 Humanity Index report launch served as the platform for robust discussions on advancing gender equality, with a particular focus on concrete actions needed to combat gender-based violence. As advocates intensified their effort, the call for budgetary reforms and implementation of targeted GBV action plans signals a collective commitment to creating safer and more equitable communities for all.